Is the US and NATO officially at war with Russia? Last year, when Tucker Carlson was fired from Fox News, he granted an interview, and what he said was that these people are really looking for war with Russia. So once you start indicting your political opponents, you know that you have to win or else they're going to indict you if they win, right? Right. And so they can't lose. They will do anything to win. So how do they do that? They're not going to do COVID again. I know everyone on the right is afraid they're going to do COVID and mask mandate. They're not going to do that. They can't do that. If they've already been exposed, that won't work. There's going to be, no, what are they going to do? They're going to go to war with Russia is what they're going to do. There will be a hot war between the United States and Russia in the next year. And really? On the, of, yes, of course. They want it anyway. At that point, I thought Taka was being sarcastic. But looking at what is unveiling, it seems he knew something we did not know. Do you know that while Trump was being charged of all the 34 counts guilty verdict, simultaneously, Blinken was giving Ukraine permission to strike within Russia. Think of it. Why would they do that? Why will Blinken and Biden permit Zelensky to strike Russia or to strike within the territory of Russia, whilst at the same time, Trump was being handed his guilty verdict. It tells you that these people practically know that everything they are doing is wrong. But they are willing, they are more than willing to execute every plan to the core. People shouldn't take this news for granted. I say this because, look, this in, in case NATO and the US go out or go all out in a war with Russia, whether you care, whether you don't care, you will be affected. And as a matter of fact, ordinary citizens like us will be affected the most. If I may ask, if you think you don't care, how many food have you stacked? Do you even have reserves of water, of medicine? No, you don't. You are just like me. In, <laughs> in some part of the world, we say hand to mouth. In America, they say paycheck to paycheck. That is how we live our lives. So imagine America and NATO goes to war with Russia. Look, don't be deceived that Russia is like a third world country that can do anything. Russia is bluffing. Russia has no nuclear weapons. It is a lie. They have it. And in fact, some of the Russian nuclear weapons are more capable than what the West have. Putin has already warned NATO to be careful with what he is doing. And as a matter of fact, around last week or last two weeks, did you know that Putin was able to hit a target in, in Ukraine whereby more than 300 officials died it is believed that most of these officials were from Germany, uh, France, and in fact, some F-16 jets that were delivered to Ukraine, you know, in, in order to help them defeat Russia, has also been destroyed. Believe it or not, I personally believe the war has started. And 
it will be at 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 it will be at our biggest advantage to make sure we quench it and we quench it now. If you if you are an American and European listen to me, this I don't care whether you hate Putin or you love whoever you love, this will be a serious war and we, we the citizens must not allow it to happen. We must hold our leaders accountable. Personally, look, I love my life and I know you love yours. We love, you know, we really love to go about our daily chores without any hassle. In fact, we already have a lot of personal problems and financial problems in our lives. And we really, really don't need this war. I don't, I, I sometimes just can't wrap my mind around this. What at all does America and NATO want? Ukraine will never become part of NATO. They know that. So what at all do they want? 